Hey guys, this is Randy from Island Reef TV. Uh, kind of under the weather today, but decided I'll make you guys another video. Uh, as I said in my last video, I was going to try Dr. Tim's one and only nitrifying bacteria. And here it is. But I put these guys in. I actually put these guys in last night. And doing stuff with one hand just doesn't work too well. As you see, this one, as you see, eliminates new tank syndrome. This one treats 120 gallon, and this little one here treats 60 gallons. So you can't overdose, so I wanted to try it on my tank. As you said, it removes toxic ammonia and nitrate naturally. Use when setting up a new tank. Add fish immediately. Special carry to extend shelf life. Now you guys heard all this. Um, you can go to Dr. Tim's Aquatics if you guys want to try it out. Uh, I put it in last night. As you can see here, I got all my testing kits ready um, pick this one up from my local fish store she said oh this is a lot easier than the API the API doesn't give good results you know said this one is easier man I really do not like this test kit it is not easier at all and I have one here from my freshwater but I know uh, it tests the same thing, but the colors on the for the results might be a little bit different. So I've been trying trying the both of these to see the test results on the both of them. I think last night when I tested it before I put Dr. Tim's in, it was uh, five parts per million on the ammonia. So I will do a test on this tank every day for the next couple of weeks and we will see whether Dr. Tim's nitrified bacteria actually did its job. But right now as you can see my lights are off. Everything is just running. It's been like this for the past probably week, two weeks since I got this guy up and running. But everything seems to be running well. My I turned I turned my protein skimmer off because I didn't know whether I should run it with it or not, so I just turned it off. No use in skimming out everything, but you know, my the return for the skimmer just goes right back into the sump anyway because there's nothing really built up in there till I get till I get some fish in there and some corals and start feeding and and stuff like that. But that's it. So that's an update on my tank and. Uh, oh, another thing. I found a way to get, as you can see, my water level is a lot lower than it's been lately. And that helps me a lot, you know, getting, keeping some water down in my, in my return area of my sump. Because what was happening is my pump was pushing so much water that it was actually up to the braces here. Um, not to the point of overflowing but just touching the bottom of the braces so what I did is I lowered my uh, overflow so it's a little bit further under the tent under the water level and that seemed to have fixed that problem and you see I got I got the mag float for an acrylic tank and I've got my temperature gauge right here uh, a little bit higher than it needs to be. I need to fix that. See, it's it's gone up. I think it's at 81, which I think I need to bring it down to 76. But everything seems to be working well. Uh, my next update for this tank, I'll try and do another one tomorrow after I do my test kits, give you my results. And I think I'm going to be ordering uh, JBJ Auto Top Off because I need to set this up automatically because just in case I need to leave for an extended period of time, 
I don't have to depend on my wife to, to refill the water. And if we both decide to go out, I don't have to worry about whether my tank is going to run dry. All right. Well, guys, that's it for today. I've got work to do. See ya.